Okay, so uh, height adjustment on this Defiant Magnetic Sweeper is done using uh, this 550 paracord. And that's held on to our quad magnet pods using this little spring-loaded cleat here. So this cleat just kind of pinches the rope so it can't pull this way. But what it does do is it will slip the other way pretty easily. So when you have it under your forklift, you can start with the rope on a lower setting. So say we, we're obviously doing this outside of the forklift so you can see what's going on here. But so say you have your forklift set this high off the ground or your magnet pod set this high with this much rope hanging down. If you want to raise the magnet up, you can just pull this and it'll catch the other way. So this spring loaded clamp catches this way, but it'll slip this way. So once you have your height set under the forklift, which we're going to do after, but you won't be able to see that, these things, these ropes need to be tucked away. So this can be a little difficult to do under the forklift. Uh, you can just tie it off or you can go up underneath into the second uh, hole here or it's some kind of way you just need to get it out of the way of the forklift so nothing's getting caught and pulled off the, uh, you know, you don't want your magnet getting pulled off by the wheel or something. So once that's tied around and just kind of out of the way, that's your height set and then you're ready to go. So another thing, like we've been installing this on multiple forklifts today, so we're leaving the ropes. But if you're installing this on one forklift, you're probably not going to switch it around very much. So what I would do, honestly, is just cut it, burn the end, make your rope just about the right height that you need, and then just cut it. Maybe leave a little bit of adjustment space, but cut it so you don't have to deal with tying everything up, and then um, just leave it on that forklift. So we're going to install it on this thing, and then we'll just adjust the height quickly, and we should be good to go. So with these magnet pods, the pucks on here are actually held to the plastic assembly using just some nuts on the back that are uh, stuck into the plastic. So if your bottom of your forklift is a little bit curved or not quite perfectly flat, because these things sit pretty well perfectly flat, undo these a couple turns. You can just turn these magnets left, they'll loosen off. And when these are loose, they shouldn't come loose at all because the magnets won't rotate against the forklift. But when these are loose, you'll get just a little bit of wiggle and that might allow your magnet to stick, get a better hold on a slightly curved surface on the bottom of your forklift. So this is only really necessary if you have a bit of a problem sticking this thing to the bottom of your forklift. It's just something to try if it's not working properly. All right, so we're gonna install this thing on the back here because that's where we found it's the most flat. So we're just gonna simply slide it under. I've left these magnet pods a bit loose so we can adjust them once they're on there. So stick them out. Attach those to the bottom, make sure you're on a pretty decently flat surface. That thing seems like it's holding well. And then all I'm gonna do is just pull this uh, rope up like this, and then I'll cinch that in the cleat, and it'll stay at the height I set it at, which is about half an inch. We're probably gonna go a little higher than that. But that's the easiest way we found to adjust it. Just kind of pull them out a little bit. So I got a better hold here. Pop those strings up, the cleat will catch it. And that's our sweeping height. Might want to go a little lower than that, but that's about an inch and a half. So that should be fine. And then, like I said before, you just need to tie these up so nothing gets caught. I'm just going to do a little square knot around the top here. Loop it around again. And that'll be fine for what we're doing here today. Same on this side. Just pop a little square knot on there. Go around again. <clears throat> and that's going to stay out of the way. So that's pretty sturdy hold on this side. Go around to the other side and adjust it, and we're good to go.